Greetings, my fellow knights. Welcome back to the Struggle Bus, where today we are trying out some warrior action, doubling it up thanks to Roaming Throne. We're continuing down our cycle, trying to find some sweet tribes to work with this fantastic golem. And uh, yeah, so we're going to make it happen. Um, not much going on in the early game. It's just kind of a counters sub theme. Actually, that's the other sub theme of the deck in general. So, evolving adaptive just to get down an aggressive threat that can get large early. And of course, everything here is doubled, so that's why it's absolutely broken with um, Roaming Throne. Tyro Stand does a great protection spell versus, as well as a pump spell when we need it, but more honestly, it's there to protect our key pieces like Roaming Throne, Doomscar Warrior that we'll get to in a moment, and Quirion Beast Caller. You guys have seen it. A 2-2 that gets bigger and is able to put counters on other things. And of course, both the Cast Trigger and the On Death Trigger are doubled with sweet old Throne in play. Ossifications are only key removal, so we're really trying to capitalize on these. Botanical Brawler does get some additional triggers, not super broken, but um, in fact, it uh, the fact that it says it's the first time that it triggers, this doesn't really get doubled up, but the fact that you can put the backup counters on two separate creatures, thanks to the doubling, allows us to still get two counters on this mean Brawler, but that is why we're only running two of on him. Uh, Sentinel of Nameless City is pretty much, I'll be honest with you, Warriors on the three drop slot was a little awkward. And this one does give us a decent body with three, four vigilance for three, but also gives us a map token that allows us to put counters later on in the game that could do some really sweet synergies as well as help us find the things that we need, whether they be lands or creatures. Throwing, you guys already know it doubles everything for our warriors in this deck. Doomscar Warrior card that I've been a fan of, but just hasn't really seen its uh, moment in the light. Being able to essentially draw us cards itself, as well as with the backup ability, doing Doomscar Warrior into a roaming throne plus like something like a Sentinel or a Beast Caller is absolutely great for getting an additional damage, as well as keeping our hand full. So that's why this guy's in the list, and of course they trigger twice. We have Boonbringer, another way to finish off the game, right? Coming in and giving two of our creatures flying first strike and lifelink is absolutely backbreaking. Workshop War Chief is nice. We get three life, aka six life on the front end. And then should this bad boy die, we will get two four fours. And should we blitz, then we not only get two four fours, but we also get to draw two sweet, sweet cards as well. Finally, making a bunch of gruff triplets tokens because, hey, it is a double trigger as well. Nothing too crazy on the lands, just one creature land, because that's all I got. And then the usual suspects, though, we are running 14 basics to make sure we have one in play to cover our ossification. That is the list, though, my friends. Shout out for this video goes out to Elezra. Elezra, thank you so much, my friend, for riding the struggle bus with us. I really do appreciate you. You rock. And this warrior double list is for you, my friend. Uh, this one feels too slow. We're going to mulligan. All right. Much better. Much better. Keep this and we'll tuck the triplets. Start off with the old thicket. Uh, we'll see. Okay. So we'll go ahead and play beast caller here. I think they're just going to play another creature before they get rid of beast caller. And then we'll be able to leave up Tyvars. Could be wrong. But the combination of War Chief, oh, War Chief and Throne seems pretty nice and a good way to recover. So we shall see, my friends. All right. Mistake number one made, but hey, we got we got recovery. We recovered. And we just need to hit our land drops. Let's see if we do or not. All right, we have a block here, so we're fine with that. Really going to need that land here, though. Thank you, deck, for delivering. I appreciate you. And worry. 
barrier. No attacks. You have a block here. So they're gonna, if they play a creature, we're kind of in a little bit of trouble. Would like to see maybe, I mean, actually anything. I think will work out. <clears throat> I'm good with the untapped land. Ooh, nice. So we put the counter here. That's a five. They have to block with everything. We get a counter here. It's six. Oh, no, we're safe. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. And we could put it here. But I think I want to make sure that they have to double block and they lose things. And yeah, we'll just attack here. Love it, love it. And let's get our land to leave up Tyvar's stand. And our Boombringer. Play our land. And life is looking pretty good. <laughs> Ooh. So let's see. Oh, man. And they're tapping out. Oh, no. Let's see if they're going to attack. So, we're going to give... Are they just dead here? I think they are, right? Hit the land. Put a counter. Counter. I guess they're not dead. But it's going to be pretty darn close. If we put a counter here... This is seven... No, it's... Oh, yeah, it is. Wait. They're going to get just one counter. So it's not quite enough. So I think we just go here. So we draw two cards. Oh, because I put the counter here, not there. Okay. Oh, I guess we have trample. So, yeah, we just swing with everything. Oh, that was hot. That was real hot. All right, I'm a simple man with a simple plan. Let's give it a go. This hand's looking for a lot of things, but we'll see if we can make it happen. Is that Olivia or someone else? Oh, hey. Step in the right direction. Don't have to worry about instant speed removal. See if we can leave up our Tyvar stand after this. Naya. Well, I take that instant speed removal thing back. Okay, okay. Forces us to tap out. I think I want to leave up Tyvar stand. I think I want to leave up Tyvar stand. Yeah. Might as well. Do they have a way of getting it back? That card's just really powerful. I think getting it off the board is correct. I've seen games just... I've seen the vendor just absolutely run away with games with the value it can generate. Especially only being one mana. So... Definitely glad we left up the Tyvar stand. Protect our dude. Hit a land. Go here. And... Hold because I want to keep the Tyvar stand for protection. Instead of like a pump spell. Okay. Solid. Come on. Give me something. Give me something. Uh, guess we could take the three here. All right. I'll take that. I will take that. 
And... We're winning this race. So I think we get in there. Yep, I'm okay with that. That's their card draw. I'm okay with that. All right. Give me a good draw off the top, man. Good draw off the top. That's pretty potent. Pretty potent. And they put a counter on her. I'm assuming they have a chump block. Uh, this is just, uh, yeah, I think we're safe to block here. They get blockers, or do we kill them on the crackback? Never a, another non-token soldier. So this guy will die. They'll get a soldier. So they get two blockers, and then we can crack back versus one blocker. They block the biggest, and then we don't quite kill them. Oh, I guess we have the pump. So you know what? I think we actually uh, we make this block and then let this go through. And then we pump everything into Brawler. Or we just do this, right? Because then it gives them trample anyways. So here and here. Because he's going to get the counters. This will trigger two times. And absolute madness. And I believe that is good enough because all our biggest creatures have trample. Sick. Oof. Nice. Nice. All right, this hand is uh, medium, but very serviceable. We'll keep it. Lead off with the farmland in case we have a turn two play that we end up drawing off the top. All right, all right. That bodes okay against us. Not amazing, but okay. They could play black here in a moment. But at least against straight gruel, we have some stuff and things. Like, it's going to be a little bit tougher for them to kill us. So they can lightning strike our warrior. So that is a consideration. Ooh, dinosaur. Dinosaur ramp. Uh, they can block and kill our dude. Which is very interesting. So I'm trying to think if we uh we go for the Doomscar Warrior here. Force to the double block. You know what? I think I am okay with that. If we get rid of their ramp and their two drop, I think we're okay with this. Can we do this? At, no, it's only a sorcery speed. Oh, I don't think they realized they gave it trample. Alright, so now we're in a position where we can leave up Tyvar's stand next turn. Light rigging. Ooh. There's some shenanigans afoot here, my friends. All right. We can map to make sure we get in there. We can, uh, I think, yeah, I think we're just going to map. Uh, we'll ship that to the graveyard because we need lands. Let's get in there. They're taking it. All right. The fact that they're taking it makes me... Gosh darn it. We got the roaming throne too. We got all the stuff and things, but I don't want to miss our land drop. So let's go here. And then... Here... here because we have another one so we can stop their ramp Ooh, do they have the protection or is it lightning strike all right and then we'll just play our adaptive and i want to leave up tyvar stand in case they go with a burn down the house like right now we have the initiative 
Uh, target creature you control gets hexproof. Okay. All right. Brace for impact. So let's see here. Boone comes down, gives a six, gets in there. That's not going to be enough. It would have made a difference. All right. Play our tapped land. Play Boone. We can go here and have an additional blocker, or we can just get them as close to dead as possible and draw a card. I think I'm going to go here. And I think the first strike on Boombringer saves us against Yearling. And let's go with... We played our land. I think we just go with a Doomscar Warrior to pump up the Boombringer. It's a pretty strong turn for them. They had nothing last turn. And now they have Threatening Lethal. Because 14 plus another, potentially 21. So this is pretty scary. 21, 27, or 22, I'm sorry. Okay. I think they could have done something better than that. Oof. Oof. A uh, bit of an interesting hand. But I th think we can keep it. Alright. I guess there's no harm in holding that in case we draw something. Uh, we don't have a 3 drop, so I'm going to wait so we're able to protect our Beast Caller. Looks like we're going up against the Traxa. So, I think we're... Okay. Ooh, alright. Just hold what we got. And we get to Roaming Throne. And I don't know if this is going to be enough or not, but we'll see. We shall see. Exactly why we left it up. And we get to counter the Virtue, which is nice. Hopefully that means we are protected. And Warrior... And we're just going to get in there. There's a good chance we get Sunfalled here. Let's see. They get to do all the things. They have a seven. Uh, they do not. Oh yeah, they do. Derp. Let's let them do the stuff. Then we ossification. Put the counter here. Put the counter here. Interesting. Oh man. I was really hoping we were going to be able to do both things. So they have go through it. That means our throne is going to die. I think we need to try to get as much card advantage here as possible. We can play Brawler and Ossification. That doesn't do much. Really wish we hit our land there. All right. Well, one here and one here. And then attack. And let's get another one. We can go Beast Caller plus Brawler next turn. We have a big thing. We have card draw. Interesting. I think we go... I think we just go big. I think we just go big. Hope we hit the land. If not, we already have two one drops. Oh, they can't go for the throat. 
That was my bad. I should have put both counters on the throne. I didn't think about that. It's no artifacts. Oh, okay. Uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Because she negates. That's super awkward. So now we just swing. They block. They have a good block here. Man, that is pesky. That is pesky. And we missed the land. Oh, man, that's such a bummer. So... I guess we just attack. They chump block. And then we play... The other one won't trigger we can double block her this will kill that so i think play the other throne oh they just kill the warrior never mind yeah we just need to play the other throne we block here we lose yeah, oh man, what a bummer. I think we had a good chance of taking this game down if it wasn't for the Elish Norn. Um, it shuts off our removal is the problem here. I'm trying to think. So we're, our Boom Blade is not going to do it. She's going to get in. They have the ability to pay. Yeah, good game. Man. All right, well, we found a weakness. And it's funny too because not all of our stuff are ATBs. Seems like a decent hand. Let's give it a go. See if it gets us there or not. Question is, do we play Brawler first? I think so. I think we play the Brawler before we play the second Adaptive. Down goes the Brawler. And... I think we still go this way instead of playing the other Adaptive. That way, if we draw the land, we play a Roaming Throne and we attack. If we don't draw the land, then we can Adaptive plus Map. even have the ability to ossification if we need to yeah i think this works out okay hopefully we hit the land because i would like to uh double map of course that opens the door up to a board wipe but you know maybe we get lucky since they were kind of aggressive with the ossification i don't think we put them under a significant amount of pressure ah okay um, bummer. All right, uh, let's start off with ossification because we can get in there. And then I think we explore ossification. I want to hit the land, but I actually like removal, so we're just going to attack. And the reason why I put it on the adaptive is because I'd rather... Nice. Good call, Jedi. Good call, Jedi. Look at that. Look at the brain on Jedi. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> All right. Go big or go home. Let's do this. This can go very well or very poorly for us. We shall see, my friends. But those of you that aren't strangers to the channel already know the kind of look we have here. One would say this was a gutsy play, Cotton. Let's see how it works out for him. Of 
car peeling out always trips me out. Dinosaur. Ooh. Still think it's correct to... Well, shoot. That's interesting, isn't it? Uh, I... Uh, actually, I think that... Mm, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I get lucky. Maybe I get lucky and we get a untapped white source off the top. That would be primo, right? Because we want this guy to get bigger. So doing this into this gets bigger. Not that big. Uh, that's not what we wanted. Oh well. No blocks take our six and like it. Ah, oh, now we get it. Um, let's see if we get another untapped source off the top. We can use this guy to chump block. Go brawler, brawler. Over. Warrior. Maybe not. Another hammer skull. Oh, so close, yet so far away. Guess old boy's on chump duty. Okay. We're not dead yet. Unless this is a fight spell. Alright. We think we chump here. Take three. Come on. Oh, big top deck. Um. Do we go here? Unfortunately, they are on cast triggers. Okay, so we double block. Oh, they drew the good stuff. Let's see. Oh, sad face. Uh, chump block here. <laughs> uh, I don't think we go here plus counters. I don't think that's enough. Block. Man, I don't think this is going to work out in our favor. Let's see. Okay. Oh, that's enough. Oh, man. Almost did it. So this will make it a 10. It gets in there, but we needed haste. We gain 10, but they just flip. All the shenanigans. Man, so close. Oh, well. Let's see how we would have done. Counter. Counter. Get in for 10, but not Vigilance. Go back up and they got a good game. And we drew the Gruff Triplets as well. 